Well, they've been developing uh, pilotless vehicles or unmanned vehicles. They say that they are still piloted, they're just not piloted by people sat inside them. That's the difference. Uh, and the development since 2003 using various military platforms for spotter planes and so on has, has brought us here. This is a, a jet stream aircraft, a passenger aircraft, which is fully laden in the back with uh, lots of equipment, lots of very clever technology, which is hoping to bring us towards uh, unmanned vehicles of this size. Now, it's part of a scheme called Australia. Now, this is a joint venture. It's part public funded. It's part privately funded uh, by, uh, by uh, several companies, uh, BAE Systems being one of the leading ones. And the man who's in charge of the Australia project is uh, Lambert Doppen Heppinstall. Tell me, what's, what's brought us to this stage now where we're looking at a plane of this size, potentially a passenger carrying plane, which is unmanned? Well, good, good morning, good afternoon. Yes, this is all about trying to do things with unmanned, well, aircraft that we couldn't traditionally do before. Dangerous things um, and things which were really difficult. So doing long persistent search and rescue, for instance, going out to sea for, for many hours, even, even days doing search and rescue, looking at the ash cloud, for instance, um, which we couldn't do and we disrupted aviation for a, for a long time, a couple of years ago, or even F Fukushima as an example. Uh, a small UAV was used to help um, um, have a look and get a feel for what the problem was there. So this is a research program, major research program in the UK, where we're putting together a load of technologies that address the, the challenges that we face in getting the regulators to see that it's safe to take unmanned aircraft into our airspace. So basically what you're trying to do is, is to move towards making sure that planes like this can fly in normal civilian airspace safely and that's what the test is all about. This is known as the, the flying test bed. I don't know if we can see right in the front of the cockpit there we've got a, a camera mounted right in the middle that's got the same viewing capability as a pilot 20-20 vision and that's effectively the eyes of this aircraft. Uh, there's also a lot more technology going on. Comsat units on the roof, infrared cameras underneath have been uh, testing this aeroplane with uh, weather detection and with uh, uh, detecting other planes in the air. We saw a small uh, light aircraft that went up earlier on. The, this has been flying two times uh, a week in the past few weeks, working on these weather detection systems. So it really is very complicated stuff. I mean, what is the, the end goal? Could we potentially see pilotless or unmanned uh, passenger vehicles, commercial craft? It's, you're not going to fly on, in, on your holidays in, in a, an unpiloted uh, jet aircraft or not for many, many, many years to come. But certainly, in the next few years, you will see search and rescue operations going, you will see things going out to sea, and, you know, taking that camera in the front. I mean, it's a really good example of doing something a pilot has to do of cloud detection, and uh, it's some very clever technology has gone into that. OK, well, you can actually see an unmanned vehicle flying over the Irish Sea if you're around in that area twice a week at the moment. So the technology is still being developed. We'll wait and see where it takes us in the future.